Welcome back, Rich Nation. We are watching another One Punch Man Season 2, Episode 3. We have a couple more of the Blu-rays left, and then we have to go to the regular episodes. Uh, but it's been really good so far. I, uh, I've i enjoyed kind of the differences between Season 1 and Season 2 when it comes to uh, the characters, the side characters, and not just Saitama and Genos getting a lot more screen time. King's amazing. Uh... Blizzard's amazing. We have like just awesome like characters that have been kind of uh, had little to no screen time in season one getting major screen time. I love it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button. If you'd like to watch uh, a couple episodes ahead and uh, or full reactions or early releases, you can check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash AJ Rich one, two, three. I would appreciate that. Let's go ahead and start. <laughs> God damn, he beat the shit out of him. You're one student? You're one student you're expelling? Yeah, he is definitely acting weird. And now she's just regularly hanging out? I'm not gonna complain. And King, and King too. <laughs> There, is that just the crew now that hangs out at Saitama's house? Oh! That's the... Garo's the guy, yeah, the guy that just got introduced uh, an episode ago. Like, oh, that makes way too much sense. That's the guy that, because it was talked about in season one where they kicked him out. Um, at, like a disciple that was really strong, but they kicked. Okay. I mean, he just destroyed everybody. I don't think that's the case necessarily. <laughs> I mean, Cape Baldi is just horrible. <laughs> One of the worst hero names ever. <laughs> what is he thinking when he sees these people and then forgets about them? What is he thinking about? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Oh no, Moomin Rider! No, he didn't. He's a hero. You, you can't hurt Moomin Rider. <laughs> God. Oh, shit. S class. Does, is he stronger than an S class? Of course, he's like the head of the tank top crew. <laughs> Ultimate take top moves. He might be stronger than S class. And he's happy about it. No, he's a monster. A self, you know, self stated monster. At least the Moomin Rider, we can't have our hero touched. <laughs> The people's hero. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Why? That's why he's the people's hero. <laughs> That's such a corny statement. What? Damn! He's using his master's moves. God! Could this guy be a match for Saitama? <laughs> And how did he get this strong? No! Yes! No! Fuck. God damn it! 
Okay, he's not fucking around. This isn't fun in games anymore. We've already seen him take down numbers. God damn! No, 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 no! It's all fun in games until you get hurt. It was looking like he was just trying to straight up kill. Oh. God damn, how do you repair a face like that? Uh, these guys are definitely part of the bargain bin fighters here. He's got a goddamn nose armor on. What does he do? Smell his opponents to death? <laughs> At least he's not dead. They actually kind of made that fight look like he was really trying to kill. That's why for a half a second I thought maybe like he had either done serious damage, which it looks like he has, or killed him. But I think it would have been played up more if he had. But for that moment, you kind of forgot. Kind of forgot. This is a lot, mostly comedy because holy shit, it became serious insanely fast. Whenever we have Saitama not in the picture, things can kind of turn uh, serious. Like some of the comedy kind of goes away every once in a while. It's like people kind of like do their normal daily life, and then when Saitama's in the picture, everything just becomes ridiculous and out of sync. It's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, this could be a, an actual threat. Or would he even would Silver Han, uh, Silver Fang even be able to fight at his full strength against his former, you know? <laughs> Bananas will solve everything. Get your potassium. Oh God! Don't be putting kids into the hospital. You already got. Uh, I guess his nose didn't do anything. Oh no! Why do all the kids in this show look like they were hit with the freaking stick? <laughs> they actually have a full book of the heroes. It's crazy. He just doesn't have a filter. He's really like seeking them all out. It's weird. He actually has. I mean, he says he's a monster, but you, you can talk to a kid normally. Hmm. Uh, that makes it more difficult, but it makes Saitama happy. <laughs> Bananas solve everything <laughs> in, in a place you can barely reach. What? Are we gonna give Saitama a tournament arc? It ain't even gonna. It's not even gonna be fair. Oh, he's watching it. He better not participate. <laughs> okay, now he's gonna participate. <laughs> golden ball. What is his power? To throw a golden ball. Ooh. This is where all real fights start, or bad, other bad things. Ooh. Trick shot. Ooh. Uh, he has many balls. Well. <laughs> Aim for the balls. Yes. This is going to be a challenge. 
He keeps saying he's gonna kill, like, die, but he's not actually killing anybody. Ooh. Spring mustachio with the perfect stash. He looks like he's walking around alone in the dark. <laughs> I mean, he seems at least a little intimidated to class A fighters. Or is he just playing? He must just be playing with these guys. God damn. He can like use them, their moves against them. Ooh. Uh, yeah, they're not walking with him without money. Getting escorts is a necessary thing. How much did he pay them? <laughs> oh! He does weird... This is not like a normal villain, though. He does not act like a normal villain. Ooh, don't underestimate the baldness. <laughs> That's a face of a man that does not give a fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. That is as bad as, like, Trump's rug. Maybe he get his. Maybe he could get the doctor to give him that mushroom hair that he has. I mean, I guess that's hair. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't think I understand Saitama. Why wouldn't you get the same color hair as what you have already? Jesus. Anyway, um, I think Garo is very interesting as a villain because we see that he, first of all, him getting his ass kicked by Sa Saitama there. I'm wondering how he's going to respond, but him interacting like with the kid and with like punching that scummy guy, you know, the typical scummy rich guy with the girls, like it seems like, is he really a bad guy? Like, is this, it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like any of the other villains from last season. This guy just, I mean, he's focusing on heroes. It feels more like he just has a grudge against heroes in general. Everybody else he could care less about. Um, because, like, the Hero Association. Because he's acting nice between everybody else. He can walk out in daylight. He's not trying to, like, destroy the world or anything. Um, he's, I mean, he just seems to have, you know, like, just a grudge against them. Um, and I, uh, But he seems very complicated. I'm very interested to see. We Like, now we know he was, you know, a, I mean, he was the guy that got kicked out of, uh, like, Bong's dojo. So he was that the strong disciple that was talked about in season one, um, which makes like a total sense now, now, now that we know. But it's just I don't know. I, I feel like we need more information, like but I, especially the way he does his techniques. Uh, it feels like he can because he's beating. He has like a challenge in the beginning of every one of those fights. He you can see it in his eye. He's like. I thought he was playing with them at first, but it seems more so like he's learning their techniques. So in the very beginning, when you do your first attack, he doesn't know how because he's doing his uh, research on them. Like he's so he knows their attacks, knows their moves and then learns it. But he like maybe when he learns it firsthand, he can like learn the style and then use it against them. That's what it was feeling like to me. He's bringing it just right back. And that's how he's beating these guys. That's why an S class fighter seemed just as uh, he was having issues just as much as those A class people. So maybe his strength is gauged by who he's facing and then using their strength against against them. Now, if that's the case, can he do that to Saitama? He just got punched in the one punched. Can he do that back to Saitama? Uh, like, that's what I'm gonna, I'm wondering because because uh, he's not gonna forget about that. He thought like Saitama was some random like low you know low hero, and he technically is, but not in reality. He's super strong. Um, but uh, I yeah, I'm I, I'm wondering. He seems very complicated. 
I don't even want to call him a villain, but it, he is a villain. I mean, he fucking made people bleed. He actually, we got put in that situation where he's fighting everybody and everybody's bleeding. And I, I actually thought he was going for the, it got serious really quickly. And I thought he was going for the kills. Like Moomin Rider, I actually for half a second thought he was almost dead or going to die um, because he's stepping in and stuff. But I do feel this season has a faster pace. Like the line, there's not as much space between lines. I, I noticed that because you know I, I always add commentary and stuff, and I I was noticing there's almost no space. Uh, season one was very slower, so it was just like maybe it's because we had Saitama around all the time, and it's a little bit like relaxed comedy, all that stuff. Um, so, but everything, especially during that part was fast paced. Everything was going on really quickly, getting people like getting hurt the entire tank. I mean, he beat an S class guy, um, but he didn't kill anybody. I, I thought he was, he keeps saying, I'm, you know, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you, but he hasn't actually killed anybody. He's put him in the hospital. Um, so that seems a little misleading. Um, but that moment, though, felt probably one of the more serious moments we've seen, like where everyone felt in danger. And the big thing is, is because Saitama's not there. Whenever Saitama's not there, everything's serious. We noticed that with every fight Genos would get in. When Saitama's not there, he'd go, uh, you know, it would get crazy. It would get these insane fights. And that's kind of where it happened there. Um, also, it just feels like the comedy goes when Saitama's not there or on screen, like or interacting with somebody. It's like the uh, it goes into the serious mode a lot of the time and like characters become more serious. It feels like Saitama like like messes with people's like like they're whatever they're supposed to be doing. It feels like Saitama just distracts it and then completely changes like everything whenever he's around. It fucks up like the, like the world I don't know what the heck is uh, going on but that's just what it feels like because we get these like little bits of seriousness crazy fights um but uh good episode I also like the beginning with just like where they put all those characters hanging out at Sai Thomas house like they got their crew now I, I I thought that was kind of a nice touch it's not just Genos and Sai Thomas anymore you got King playing freaking his games on there and yeah you got Blizzard hanging out I like that it's good it's cool um but anyway, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash ajrich123 for full reactions and early releases. I'd appreciate that. I also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ajrich. We do uh, reaction streams every Thursday at 2 p.m. PST. Um, I have a Twitter at ajrich123. And seriously, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.